Hi everyone and welcome to another beginner friendly Procreate brush tutorial. Today we're going to be making this beautiful star brush and even if you've never used Procreate before you'll be able to follow along the steps and make it yourself. And like most of my tutorial brushes you can download this one for free from my website and the link is in the description below. So as soon as you have your iPad let's get started. As always we're going to start off with a square canvas for the new brush. So to do this, just tap on the plus and Procreate have a default option for square. Just tap that, it'll open up your new canvas. Now to set us up, we're going to make sure that we have black selected. So go to your color disc and you can either double tap near the black area to get black or you can just drag the slider down to the bottom of the disc. Next, we're going to go into our brushes. We're going to find the calligraphy section and select the monoline brush. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a star, but if like me, you have trouble drawing a star just freehand, we're going to use a little bit of a cheat. So go up to your actions and click on add text. Go down to the little keyboard, tap on it and click show emoji. We're going to find the star emoji and use it as a template. So either search it or select it if it's in your recently used emojis. Then tap on the cursor and just increase the size of it a little bit and roughly center it. Just make sure uniform is selected so it stays in proportion. Next thing we're going to do is create a new layer to trace on. So tap on your layers and tap on the plus. And now we're going to use the selection tool to trace around the star. So tap on the little ribbon, which is your selection tool and click on freehand. Now starting at the top of the star, just tap at the point and then tap at the next indent, the next point and so on until you've made your way all of the way around. So the way the selection tool works, if you draw dot to dot, it'll just make a straight line between each point, which is what we want all the way around the star. And then tap on the gray dot to finish it off and create your selection. And now we want to fill it in in black. So just tap on color fill and it will automatically fill it in. Now you go back up to your layers, swipe left on the emoji layer and click delete. So now you should be left with a star that looks like this. So our next step now is to resize and duplicate the stars and change their colors. So select the cursor and select any of the blue dots with the uniform still selected and drag it up and to the left a bit. It doesn't really matter where you place it as long as they're all evenly spread out at the end. So now tap on your layers, swipe left and duplicate your layer. Select your cursor again and resize it, make it a little bit smaller and then use the green dot at the top to rotate it and drag it somewhere else on the canvas. And we're just going to repeat this process again and again until we have lots of different sized stars scattered around the canvas. So tap on your layers, swipe left and duplicate, then tap on the cursor, rotate it a little bit, slightly resize it down and drag it somewhere else on the canvas. And I just make them smaller each time. And then by the time I get to the end, I'll probably keep a few of the smallest size star. So just rotate it using the green dot and drag it again somewhere else on the canvas away from the other stars. So swipe left, duplicate, tap on the cursor, rotate, resize and change your placement. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing here. It's really up to you whatever way you want to do it. But this is just what I thought looked good. So we'll just do a few more of the smaller ones with the cursor, rotating it and dragging it elsewhere in the canvas. We don't need to fill the entire canvas. As you can see, we're just going to do the middle part. And I think when I zoom out and have a look, just one more swipe to the left, duplicate and bring one down to the bottom. And this should form the basis of our brush. So this is roughly what your canvas should look like at the moment. Lots of different sized stars all scattered around the canvas. And like I said before, it doesn't need to be exactly like mine. Your brush will still turn out with the same effect if your stars are in different places. So the next thing we want to do is get all of our stars on the same layer by merging them together. So tap on the layers and pinch them all together so that they merge onto one layer. I'm just undoing to show you if you don't get them all on the same go, just merge what you can and then keep going until you've got them all on the same layer. So now that they're all on the same layer, we're going to change the colors of them to different shades of gray. This means that when you make your brush and say you have a red star brush, each star will be a different shade of red. And the other thing I'm going to show you towards the end is how to make it multicolored. So click on your color wheel and slide the slider up along the left hand side of the disc until you get to a dark gray color. Now drag and drop into a few of the different stars just to change them to a dark gray. I wouldn't do any more than three at this point. Go back into your color wheel, 
drag it up a little bit more to a lighter shade of grey and fill in a few other stars. You can also use the continue filling to just tap on the stars that you want to colour. And you can even keep this colour drop setting active while you go in and change colour and then all you have to do is tap on wherever you want coloured and it will continue to fill. So once we've coloured all the stars we're going to go up to our layers, tap on the layer and then click the invert option. Then tap it again and click copy. Then next go into your brushes and you should have selected your monoline brush earlier. Swipe left and click duplicate. Then tap on your new brush and we're going to go into shape, edit, import and paste. And then once you've got your stars in there, click done. Now click on properties and increase the maximum size to somewhere just around half scale or a bit more. Then go up to shape again and bring the scatter all the way up to max. Once you've done that, go up to stroke path and increase the spacing to around 50%, but you may need to go back and readjust that uh, depending on the size of your stars. And again, depending on personal preference, you could add in a little bit of jitter, which is how scattered they are, but I actually don't like this one, so I'm going to leave mine at zero. Then click on stabilization and increase the stabilization to around 40%. Then click done and you'll have your new brush. So let's take a look and see how it turned out. So go in and select any color you want. Just increase the size a little bit just to have a look. And then as you can see, you've got this beautiful starry brush and the stars are all different shades of the same color. And this is because we used a different color gray to make the initial pattern. And you can just play around with it, increase the size, and you can go back into your settings at any time and adjust them. So another cool thing you can do is have it change color based on how much pressure you put on the pencil. So go into your brushes, and swipe left on your new brush and click on duplicate, just so we don't make any changes to the original. Tap on it and go into your color dynamics and scroll down until you get to color pressure. Increase the hue all the way up to max and click done. And now if we go back into our canvas and have a look, you'll be able to see that depending on how much pressure I put on the brush is how much the color will change, like this. So each group of stars essentially becomes a different color. You can apply this effect to any of your brushes, just duplicate them first, just to make sure that you don't mess up any originals. So here I'm going light and then I'm going to put more pressure on and the color gets darker. If I go lighter again, darker and so on, you can see how the color changes. Now, if you have multiples of the same brush and you want to be able to tell which is which, you can name them by tapping on the brush, going into about the brush and just tapping on the name at the top. And from here, you can name it really whatever you want. So I'm just going to put in multicolor stars and name it that so I know it's different from the other star brush I've made. And you can either write it in like I am here at the pencil or use your keyboard. You can also sign it and then you can add your name as well if you want. That way, if you send the brush to anyone, they'll be able to see who made it and when they made it. And then just click done. And as you can see here, our new name is on our brush. As always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe so you don't miss your next tutorial. See you again next time.